where does John Wall stand? I know he was at the Kentucky game this past weekend yep. at Rupp. Um, is he still looking just as good and, as ever? Like, are you yeah. excited? I, I mean, I can't wait to, for him to come back. But everyone's talked about, you know, will he come back this year if you make the push? Mm-hmm. And, and I've said no. I don't think he yeah, does. I don't think so. he's there's, said done. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. no There's no reason to me for him to do it. There's no – the upside is – the downside is so huge. Um, I, I think what you do is you have him continue to practice, and then as as – the season comes to a close. He ramps up his his. Is he practicing with more. the guys or just with the assistants so, and you both. know the ball boys? Both. He's doing. He'll, he he'll, is. he'll get he'll get some reps with the guys. Um, not really. Not so much full court like five on five, but he'll get some reps with them. He looks good. It's there's a different. Um, I don't know if it's a level of intensity, but there's something added when he's practicing with them. Like. We, the guys I, just all feed off that energy. Yeah, I mean, I went to a practice a couple of weeks ago, and and he was in there, and I didn't know he was going to be running with the guys. And mm-hmm. this is they're doing some just full court, like two on three on two, two on ones type stuff. And he was making some passes, and and he was starting to talk some trash, and it just got, you mm-hmm. know, it was up a little another, another notch, and um, hmm. it was it was awesome. He had one pass to Bertans, and Bertans trailing through down a one handed dunk, and everyone's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then during a shell drill, he made a pass from. The right wing to the left corner, one hand lefty pass that just zipped through everybody, and everyone's just going, "Whoa, we haven't we haven't had that happen this year." Holy <laughs> right. cow, where'd that just come from? And he's, he, yeah, he's. How's he's that so dynamic to gonna back. work next year with Brad being the guy? Yeah, <clears throat> and then you know John's the alpha male, really, mm-hmm. sort of personality wise of those guys. How's that gonna work? Honestly, you guys have seen it more than I have, <gasps> right? Like I haven't seen those two play together mm-hmm. in a game. I'm really curious because I think Brad this year has shown he's a better ball handler than he's ever been. He can facilitate. Uh, are you going essentially with a point guard and a two guard? Are you going with two guards? Are you taking the the Damian Lillard, C.J. McCollum approach? Um, in that approach, Damian Lillard is still the guy. But mm-hmm. when when he doesn't have it, C.J. steps up. Is that what it's going to be? You know, if, is John going to be the guy and then Brad will step up? I don't I don't know how it's going to play out, but I I. Sure hope it's it's great um, and that these guys come together and, and they they are that next great backcourt duo. Well, it's not going to work out if they're allowing 18 threes to the Bulls. Like they I don't know how time. that's going to change. <laughs> Three different guys had five threes. I mean, just, if you're not going to stop guys, you're right. Unless yeah, you're going to them. That's a sweet little jacket you have on there. You're about my size. <laughs> oh, you're right. You want him to go home jacketless? You want to switch? You give him yours? Shameless. No, just yeah. shameless. Just next visit. Yeah. Well, Rob Suller has abandoned us. I mean, he was one of our BFFs. I know. I don't know what happened. Well, it's because you, you, you've you got your, your Nats hat on. What 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 shirt is this? This is Marist. Is that this is where my son goes so. to school. Okay. Marist, yeah. Um, well, we're wearing that because we don't have any more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on, Rob. I have to What's come up? And represent here. Yeah, you know? yeah, I have to balance did. this out. Yeah, All right. So next game is who's Tonight, it? Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Oh, that's geez. that's an easy one. They're only forty-eight and eight. <laughs> oh, let me, that's let me all. See. Milwaukee's already clinched a playoff spot. They have. Yep. They might just chill for. Their, I mean, they're going to win the. Now I'll say this: Eastern we Conference. played Milwaukee twice, preseason and then once regular season. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, Giannis, Middleton lit them up in that yeah, game. Giannis hasn't played yet. Oh. Middleton went for I think fifty one. Yep. Yeah. I he went for fifty one. I think Beal had forty something. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is fun. It was do like you, a one fifty one, one thirty one game. Do yeah. you think they'll keep Bertans? They yes. want to. Do you yes. think they will? Does yes. he want to be here? You think? Yes. He does. Yeah. I think I think they will keep him. Um, I think having the birds bird rights were really important for that. You know, people talked about get rid of him, get assets, this and that. I don't think this draft is really good. No, it's a one I, of the weaker I, drafts. I just don't. Now, yeah. you know, people say weak drafts and you can get some sleepers and this and that. Uh, I just don't think it's a very good draft. So let's say you had traded for two first-round picks. Are those picks going to be better than what Davis Bertans is going to be for the next four years? I don't think so. And if you have a guy like Wall, you have a guy like Beal, you want to try to take advantage of it, I think, you, you know, he's he's the type of player who will space the floor and clear it for, for Wall. Um, I think it could be a really good good matchup. Yeah, yeah. No, but you're right about the drafts. <laughs> Thank you.